My name is Steve Maley. I'll be leading our six-part series about one of the most exotic and interesting countries in the world. Those of you who have attended a rodeo in Montana have probably heard Canada's national anthem, O Canada, about the true north, strong and free. My slight variation, like this, is a tongue-in-cheek commentary on my pet peeve as a bona fide and long-suffering Canadianist. For many Americans over many decades, Canada has been and continues to be an afterthought, just that big, almost empty vacation land to the north of us. You may have a much richer and more sophisticated appreciation for Canada than that, but I want to assure you that this course will inform you in a fresh and entertaining way about our nearest and most significant neighbor. My approach to the substance of the course will be thematic. I'll be addressing matters of history, geography, political economy, arts and culture, and international relations. I'll use PowerPoints to illustrate concepts, patterns of behavior, historical personages, literary genius, that sort of thing. I will provide a short list of reading and viewing recommendations at our first gathering. I will also endeavor to overcome a tendency to talk too much so that we'll have time for lively discussion. I self-identified earlier as a Canadianist. I'm not from Canada, but I've been there a lot, and at a relatively early age, I fell in love with the place. My formal education is in international affairs, specializing in Canadian studies. That's a rare discipline. I tell you the truth about that. I'll spare you further details for now, except to say that my wife and I moved from Washington, D.C. to Montana in 1982 because this is the only state bordering three distinct Canadian provinces, and because an entrepreneurial professor of political science at Montana State University had the audacity to start a little think tank of applied research called the 49th Parallel Institute. I hope this introduction piques your interest. I look forward to sharing ideas and experiences with you next fall. Until then, au revoir.